Okay, assignment 20 is where we're talking about compound interest. What compound interest is, when an account earns interest, that interest sits off in the side until an investor is ready to take their money out, normally. But compound interest works different. So this funds, these funds or monies that you have invested, while it's sitting there earning interest, sometimes that interest is redeposited back in the account so that your interest earns interest. That's the compounding effect. And interest can be compounded annually, semi-annually, quarterly, or even daily. So let's take a look and see what I'm talking about. How much interest would $1,000 earn in one year at a rate of 6%? Compounded annually. That means every year the interest that they earn is compounded back, is, I'm sorry, is placed back into the account. Well, interest equals PRT, same one we've been using. Principal is $1,000. The rate is 6%, so 0 0.06 as a decimal, times 1 annually. If you multiply those there together, you get $60 in interest. That money would then be added back to what we started with, so their current balance would be 1060 So how much would X dollars earn in one year at a rate of 4.4% compounded annually? Well... How much would it earn? That's the interest. The principal is X dollars. The rate is 0 .044, converting it to a true decimal, times the time, which is one year. So then this problem is just once it represented algebraically. Multiplying 0 .044 times 1 and then putting the X on the end, this is how we could represent the interest. 0 .044 times X dollars would be the interest. Okay, Maria deposits $1,000 in her savings account that pays 6% interest compounded semi-annually. What is her balance after one year? So let's see how we do this. Accounts that pay interest semi-annually have the interest added back in twice a year. Semi means twice. Convert 6% to a decimal, 6 months to years, which is a half a year. So interest equals PRT. And we converted this 6 months because this is why... This is how often the interest is being compounded and put back in the account, every six months. So for the first six months, $1,000 in principal times 6% interest times a half a year would give you $30 in interest. That $30 then is added back to the balance of $1,000. So their balance after six months is $1,030, 1000 that they start with and 30 that they earned in interest. Now this new principle, 1,030, is used to compute how much interest they earn for the remainder of the year. So for the next six months, now instead of 1,000, it's 1,030 times the 6% times a half a year would give them $30.90. So you can see they earned more interest the second half because they started, they're, they're calculating the interest based on a higher amount. So now, instead of earning a $30 for the second six months, they've earned $30.90. So now their balance, that $30 added back to what they were at currently, would give them $1,060.90. Okay. All right, Alex deposits $4,000 in a savings account that pays 5% interest, compounded semi-annually. What is his balance after one year? Okay, so interest equals PRT. Principal amount is four thousand. What they start with, the rate is five percent as a decimal, and then compounded semi-annually means a half a year, so 0.5. So this would give me the amount of interest they earned for the first six months. Remember, semi-annual means twice a year. Would be a hundred dollars. So now the second half of the year, they don't have 4000 in the account now. Now they have 4100 4000 plus the 100 they earned in interest. And I'm going to multiply the same thing. So this is what they're going to have. This is what they're going to earn the second half of the year. $102.50. So now we're going to add that back to the 4100 
So 4100 plus 102.50 is 4202.50. So you can see rather than they earned $100 for the first six months and 102.50 for the second six months, bringing their balance to 4202.50. Okay. The next problem is quarterly. So they do it every four months. So quarterly would be 0.25% of the year, which is 0.25. So the question is, what's the balance after three months? So we're only going to use 0.25 because that's the first time it compounds is quarterly every three months. So the amount they start with, 1,000 times the rate times the fourth of a year equals 15. So let's look at this one. So 15 added back to the 1,000 is 1,015. How much does 3,000 earn in six months at an interest rate of 4% compounded quarterly? I equals PRT. The principal amount is 3,000. The rate is 0 0.04. And the compounding is quarterly, which is one-fourth of a year. So this is only after three months. And it looks like I need to find it after six months. So I'm going to start with the first three months. So the first three months in interest would be $30 in interest added back to what they started with, which was $3,000. And now they have $3,030, these two added together. So now for the second three months, instead of 3,000, I've got 3,030, what they started with plus the interest. The rate in the next three months, 0.25, and now I'm going to multiply that together. Would be $30.30. So their balance at the end of six months now would be the $30,030 plus $30.30 would be $3,060.30. How much does $1,000 earn in one day at an interest rate of 6% compounded daily? What is the balance after a day? One day is one out of 365. So that's what we're going to use for the time. Principal times rate times time is 16 cents. So they're earning 16 cents a day. Add that back. Okay. How much interest does X dollars earn in one day at an interest rate of 5% compounded daily? So I equals PRT. So the interest is equal to the principal X times the rate 0 0.05 compounded daily which is 1 out of 365. So I'm going to divide 1 by 365, which gives me that big long decimal, times that by 0 0.05. That gives me the even longer decimal. So the interest is equal to 0 0.00014. We'll just call it times x. That's how much interest they earn in a day. Okay, that is assignment 20.